Welcome to Good Samaritan's Joint Replacement Center. I'm Melinda, your Joint Replacement Clinical Pathway Coordinator. I am going to be taking you on a tour of our center to give you an inside look at what to expect when you choose Good Samaritan for your joint replacement procedure. The first step is determining if you need a joint replacement. At Good Samaritan, we have four highly skilled, experienced orthopedic surgeons who will help you decide if joint replacement is right for you. Vincennes Orthopedics at Good Samaritan is the office of Drs. David Miller, Molly Weiss, and Greg Whitsett. This office is located inside of Good Samaritan Hospital. Just a mile down the road from the hospital on Willow Street is Quest Orthopedics, which is the office of Dr. Terry Fenwick. Once you have made the decision to have a knee or hip replacement at Good Samaritan, we will get you scheduled for surgery. Once a date is set, you will soon receive a call from our patient assessment and testing department. Hello, my name is Lynn and I am one of four PAT nurses here at Good Samaritan. Two to three weeks before your surgery, we will give you a call at your convenience to talk about your pre-surgery health history overview. This overview will include your heart history, medications, and any breathing problems. During this call, we will also go over your labs and EKG to better help your anesthesiologist. It is our job to look for any information or abnormalities to better help your anesthesiologist and surgeon. We promise to treat you like family by delivering compassionate, high quality care throughout your journey here at Good Samaritan. Hello again, I'm Melinda, and during your entire journey here at Good Samaritan, we believe that education is a key part to your well-being and recovery. Before surgery, we will invite you into our Joint Replacement Education Center, where we will go over important information related to your specific replacement. It is my job to educate you so you know exactly what to expect before surgery, while you were here, and during your recovery as well. During education, we will watch videos, go over your specific implant, and go over your joint replacement patient education book, which includes information for before surgery, during, and after. This book will be your best friend on your road to recovery with tips on how to prepare for surgery, pain control, and home safety after joint replacement. I will be with you every step of the way, even after you get home. I'm going to call to follow up with you and make sure that everything we went over in class is happening at home. When you arrive on the day of your surgery, you can take advantage of our free valet parking at the health pavilion before heading inside to check in at our registration desk. From there, you will be taken back to our surgical preoperative area. Hi, my name is Angie. I am one of our surgical pre-op admission nurses. During your time in surgical pre-op, you will be prepared for your move to the operating room. You will be wiped down with CHU wipes to prevent infection, and this is also the time we will get you started on an IV and any pre-op medications. We will also make sure for medical information, including home medications up to date, and remove any hair in the surgery location. When you are taken back to surgery, your family and friends will move upstairs to the family retreat waiting on the fourth floor of Jabalt Memorial. During surgery, I will meet with them to provide important information regarding your recovery and show them where your overnight room will be. You will also see me or another scrub tech in the operating room. My name is Mike and I am one of our scrub techs working to make sure everything is prepped and ready in the operating room for your surgery. In the operating room, I will be assisting the surgeon with the instruments and if you're having a Mako replacement, I will be getting the robot ready for surgery. Hi, my name is Sam and I'm one of the circulating nurses in the OR. When entering the OR, you'll find a brightly lit room full of sterile people wearing blue that will be assisting the surgeon during your surgery. We'll get you hooked up to the monitors like you had in pre-op. After that, we'll get you moved to the OR table and make sure you're comfortable. After your surgery is complete, you'll have a new knee or hip. You may not remember some of this because of what medication your anesthesiologist has given you prior. After surgery, you will be taken to the recovery room. My name is Lauren. I'm one of the nurses in the OR recovery room. For patients who have total hips or knees, we meet with your nurse in the OR and bring you back here to the recovery room. In recovery, we will monitor your vital signs really closely, including your heart rate, your blood pressure, your respirations, and your temperature, and most importantly, your pain level. Our anesthesia team and I do a really good job at getting your pain under control, 
and we will aim for that pain goal that you set in pre-op um, to hit before we head upstairs to the fourth floor. Hello, I'm David, and I'm one of the patient care techs for the main OR. After your surgery and recovery, I'll be helping you to our fourth floor of Jabalt Memorial, where you'll be moved into your hospital room. Uh, once in your room, we will help you get off the stretcher and hover mat you into your bed. Uh, next, we'll check your vitals and make sure everything is going just as planned. After checking your vitals and ensuring your, your comfort, uh, we'll let you have your personal time with your family and friends. Hello, I'm Tracy and welcome to our Joint Replacement Center Patient Suites. This spacious private room with an in-suite bathroom will be where you spend the night to recover after your joint replacement. With the help of our physical therapy team, you will be able to get out of bed a few hours after your surgery and you will soon begin your therapy. Hi, I'm Lisa, a physical therapist assistant in the Joint Replacement Center. Welcome to our gym, just steps away from your room. Starting on your first day after surgery, you will come in here to do your group therapy, which includes activities such as getting in and out of a car, practicing going up and down stairs, safely getting in and out of a bathtub and or shower, bed and chair. After joint replacement, the two most important things we are working on is pain and safety. Once you have that established, you are ready to go home. A majority of our patients stay one night and are discharged back home the next day. We hope that this video has answered many of your questions about joint replacement at Good Samaritan. Thank you for touring our Joint Replacement Center with me.